Oh my god, guys. Um, we just opened the fourth roll of wheat pennies, and guys, I can see a 1909 in here. It's right there, this coin right here. I'm gonna save that for last. Guys, oh my god, we got a 1909. It's crazy. My second 1909 found in a wheat scent unsearched roll. I'm just I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. This one looks old. Yep, 1918. Another oldie, guys. 50S. 56D, 47D, we might need that one, 50S, 57D, 44S, 52S, 56D, guys, we got a 1917, that's always good. One looks old. Nope, it's not old. But guys, we got a 1909. Will it be a VDB? No, guys, it is not the VDB. But guys, look at this. 1909. Oh my god, guys. Alright. Um... Where's my, uh, where's my magnifying glass? It's here somewhere. I know it's here somewhere. I had it put away some way, but here it is. All right, so I'm going to look it up this coin up close. See, you can tell. 1909. Right there. It's not a VDB. But it is a 1909. Oh my god, guys. Ah. <sighs> Oh my god, I definitely saved the best roll for last. That is insane. Guys. Guys, guys, guys. I'm just blown away right now. Oh my god. Let me check for, uh... I think that's it for old coins, but, guys, oh my god, I'm literally freaking out right now, 1909, oh my god, and we also got an estimate 20s, 1920s, but 1909, I just, this is the second 1909 I found in an unsearched penny, unsearched wheat penny roll. And what's funny is that they didn't actually claim that this was unsearched. All they said was that this is 1909 through 1958. And I had at least hoped we would have a 1909 somewhere in the roll. Or in any of these rolls. And this is the, this probably... This is probably uh, better, a better time to get this at the very last roll. My hands are literally shaking. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, that's my second 1909. It's my second 1909 I ever had. <sighs> Oh my god. Oh. 
Anyway, guys, um, let me go through the rest of these dates, and I'm going to look for any more special dates, and I'll get these sorted out, and I'll be back with you in the wrap-up. Okay, guys, on to the wrap-up. Um, we got all of these here are Philadelphia and Denver mint marks. So we got a pretty even amount here. If you Basically, if you split this in half, it's the amount of here, which these are the S mint marks here. I'm sorry, the camera is flickering with the light. <laughs> Depending on how I move my hand, the light changes. Sorry about that. But these are all the S mint marks here. Unfortunately, we did not get the 1909S, obviously. Because if we did, that would have been extremely insane. So... We didn't get that in this roll, but we did get the same, that year, but I'll show you that in a minute. I don't want to spoil you guys too much, but over here we got some coins that I might need for my album. I probably don't, but just in case, I have them here, um, and this 1909 will definitely upgrade in my album, definitely. The other one that I got was extremely terrible, although this was not a 1909 VDB, so you know what? That one's actually going to fill a hole, now that I say that. Um, it's not going to replace it because it's not the VDB. But it's still a 1909, so... So we got a 1947 Denver and a 1949 Denver. I might need those two. I might need one of them, actually. But, alright, so... For the other older dates, or actually this one first. Uh, it's a 1950 AD with some luster left on it. Oh, uh, we got a 1920S here. Um, that might fill a hole. A 1917, which is definitely going to fill a hole. I don't have the Philadelphia, surprisingly. And a 1918. I don't think that will fill a hole because I found one of those in circulation. So I don't think that will do it. But this one and this one will definitely be hole fillers. So... That is what I love about coin roll hunting. You can find so many amazing things. And I am just so blown away right now. Um, yeah, <laughs> anyway. Um, this is pretty much that video. Um, and this wraps up the series for um, Wheat Penny Rolls. Um, I, oh, I don't want to show the address. Oh, I hope you guys didn't see that. But, um, pretend... Alright. So, um, yeah, this is the envelope that I got it. Well, it's kind of like the, uh, receipt paper. So, yep. That's that. Um, and this wraps up those series. That series. Anyway... Um, have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.